Pregnant in mm-hmm. my wife's belly, mm-hmm. stomach. Mm-hmm. We've waited like almost 10 months. Wow! Wow, that's a long time. That's yeah. right. Just like in the Bible, and Simeon, the prophet Anna, right. they have been waiting for Jesus for a long time. Finally, they met Jesus, and Pastor Joe, you met your son, right? Yes. I was while I was waiting. I was praying for the baby. Oh. I was really happy when I met him. So, Pastor Joe, just like you have new baby, the son, big and handsome, mm-hmm. just like that, we celebrate Jesus' birthday. He came this earth to save us. Yes. That we became the family member of God. So, we are the children of God. As he has one more family member, that we became a children of God. So, no more celebration. But every day, every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, every moment is the celebration, praising God and worshiping God. Amen. Because he, he came down this earth to save us. Amen. So Pastor Hannah, would you open us pray? Sure, let us pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for sending your only begotten son to us. Mm. We celebrated Christmas together. Mm. Although it's not Christmas, help us to remember every day mm. that you came down, Jesus came down to save us from our sin. Mm. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Galatians chapter 4, we're going to read from verses 4 to 7. 
Book of Galatians is in the New Testament. So let's open up our Bible to Galatians chapter 4, verse 4 to 7. All right, are you guys ready? Let's read together in one voice. Ready? Begin. But when the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under law, to redeem those under law, that we might receive the full rights of sons. Because you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit who calls out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And since you are a son, God has made you also an heir. Amen. What a beautiful message, right? Well, this verse talks about who? Talks about us, talks about Jesus, talks about God. It even talks about Mary, right? So many people are in this short verses that we just read. So today we're going to focus on this key term called family and Abba. See, we just read this word here, Abba, in verse 6. How many of you guys have dad, mom, brothers, sisters? Basically, how many of you guys have family? All of us do, right? If you didn't have a mom, if you didn't have a dad, you wouldn't be here, right? Everyone has a mom, everyone, everyone has a dad. And here, when it's talking about Abba, it's not talking about our physical dad, but it's talking about our heavenly dad. Who is that? That is God, our Father. See, even in Lord's Prayer, when we say, our Father which art in heaven, when we say our Father in heaven, we're talking about our God, not our physical dad. See, when we accept Jesus as our personal Savior, we become children of God. What does that mean? That means we have spiritual family, our Father, which is our God. See, that's amazing because you get to call God, not just God, but your dad, your father. How many of you guys call your dad Appa? I do. It's like Appa kind of sounds like Appa, right? So every time you read this word term Appa in the Bible, I want you guys to think about our heavenly father, all right? And let's go on. It says number, it says verse 7. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And since you are a son, God has made you also an heir. Amen. Because we are sons and daughters of God, God will bless you and you're able to inherit everything that God gives you, which is a lot of things, a lot of blessings, and we all that. Amen? Amen. So lovely gems, as you guys spend the last week of December, the last week of 2020, remember that we are children of God and that we are set free from our sins through Jesus' blood. All right, let's put our hands together. Let's close our eyes to pray. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for reminding us one more time that we are able to call you our Abba Father. Help us, that, help us to remember that we have physical father, but also spiritual father who wants to bless us so, so much. Once again, we thank you so much for sending your only son to us. We love you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is Game, Game Time! time. Oh. Pastor Cho, we have paper and markers today, right? What are we playing? Tic Tac Toe. Oh. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know how to play Tic Tac Toe. If you guys have a board game at home, Tic Tac Toe, use that. If not, you guys could get scratch paper. Scratch paper like us and a marker. 
And it's really easy, simple. You just need to draw two lines this way and two lines this way. Right. So Pastor Cho will show us how to draw two lines. So two horizontal and two vertical lines. One down, one down, right 11, and sideways 11. Yay, it's done. So All simple. Right. That's good. So you could either pick O or X. So I'll be O. I'll be X. All right. So who gets to start first? Younger person. Always, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'll start. We'll do. Oh, and the rules is to make a diagonal or horizontal, like a bingo. Yeah. Make right? it. You need to make three things in a row. Yes. To win. Okay. Three rows. One row, one right? Row. One row. Okay, so I'll start. Right here in the middle. Okay, I put X on here. How about right here? Uh oh, she's going to make a three. <gasps> uh -huh. Oh, Pastor Cho is too good. I'll put it right here. Oh! It's a tie. It's a tie. Because, it's a tie. Yeah, nobody didn't make three. Yeah. Play one more? Yes. Okay. Pastor Cho, you could go first. Okay. Okay. Let's see if anyone can win this time. Uh. Huh? Gonna block. Oh no. <laughs> Another block. Oh no, Another oh, time. Oh, it's a tie. Let's again. play one more, one more. <laughs> Three games, okay? Okay, last round. Okay. That's Hannah first. Alright. I'm gonna go different place this time. Okay. Oh. Let's see. How about right here? Oh, no! I won! Sister Hannah won! won. Woohoo! Do you guys see this straight, the three circles? That's how you win. Make a row, either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. How many of you guys won? How many of you guys lost? Well, it's okay, it's not a competition of winning or losing, right? Yes. Yeah. Why are we playing this game? Because we're learning about being children of God. Family, right? So we're playing an activity where family members can gather to spend time and to play together. So enjoy this game. Have a good time with your family, with your siblings, with your parents. Bye! Bye. Chapter seven, seven, verse seven. Oh, that's so easy to memorize. Seven and seven. Seven. All right, are we ready to learn? Yes. yes. Awesome. We're going to teach you step by step, and then we'll do it together at the okay. end. Okay. It says, "But as for me, so you're scanning yourself through, and then you're going to." Put two circles and put it right where your eyes are and go watch and hope. So watch wherever you want. Watch and right. hope. And then you're going to make ooh, for the Lord. For the Lord. Mm -hmm. I wait for God. Wait for God. And then this one, you're going to clap, right? So you're going to scan your arms. My Savior, my God. So as Savior if this is a cross, God. right? My Savior, my God, will hear me. Micah chapter 7, verse 7. Amen. Amen. So are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Awesome. Let's try. It says, 
But, but as, as for me, me I was in hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior, my God, will hear me. Micah chapter 7, verse 7. Amen. Wow. Great. That was fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Stay tuned for our music. That will help you to also memorize this memory verse. But as for me,